Hi, I hope you are all doing amazing. This is Misha from Essentially Whatever. I am a stay-at-home mom, a work-from-home mom, who is completely obsessed with essential oils. I started using them about two years ago, just a couple of them, and have been using them ever since and incorporate them into every aspect of my life, whether it's from helping the kids go to sleep, washing my hair, washing the countertops, the dogs, whitening my teeth, whatever. I use essential oils for everything. So essentially whatever is my way to share my passion with the world, with everyone out there and talk about essential oils. Maybe you'll learn a couple tips if you're just starting out, maybe you've heard about essential oils but aren't really sure, um, they work, they're awesome. I've been using them and I've been able to boost my immune system so much I haven't been sick in two years. They work, so it's awesome. Um, so tonight is a special edition of Essentially Whatever Live, Essentially Whatever Wine Live because who doesn't like wine? And it might not have anything to do with essential, uh, essential oils, but whatever, I can do whatever I want. That's what essentially whatever is about. Do whatever you want, have fun, let's have fun together, be yourself, and just enjoy life. So, as you can, note, as you can tell, I have a special guest with me here tonight. Wine expert, wine connoisseur, and my mother, Brenda. You know, some people uh, get, get their expertise from studying or training at a formal institute. Others get their experience just by consumption, sheer volume of consumption. And that is what makes my mom an expert. So she is here tonight to share, with some, share some wines with us because sometimes we don't wanna buy a whole bottle of wine and just waste it if we don't like it. We're unsure, we don't wanna deal with the commitment. We all have a fear of a commitment. And I also don't like you know, to buy a whole bottle of wine and then I just have to suffer through it. So she's here to share two bottles of wine um, to, and for us to taste them right here, live, with you. And maybe you'll be interested and want to buy it some yourself. So, and we have some snacks because you can't have wine without some snacks. Am I right? No, I'm all right. All right. So the first, the first glass of wine we have. The first one is a Riesling from 14 Hands. Ooh, 14 no, Hands. No. That sounds like a horse, a horse I terminology. I can't remember all this, so I do notes. It helps to have notes, people. I mean, if you're going live, I mean, you need to have notes. But anyway, it's a Riesling from 14 Hands. They're from the state of Washington. Um, this one bottle is 2015. Does it really matter what age it is? If you say like 2014, 2015, 2009. When it dries and the red gel, it does make a difference. And what kind of wine? What kind of white? This is a Riesling. And you know, I don't particularly care for sweet wines. Like, I'll drink them. I mean, I'll drink anything if someone's given it to me and they bought it and they're bringing it over and pouring it. But um, I like sweet wines during, during the summertime. You know, it's light and refreshing. A red is a little heavy and for winter time. So whites are good for, for the spring. All right. You're always supposed to smell it first, you know. I don't. They, it's, it says... Mm, there's something a little tart at the beginning of that. It says it's got flavors of apple, pear, and apricot with an ideal balance of, of acidity. Where do these people get these descriptions of things? You know, like apple and honey. I taste some honey in it, but <laughs> that was not on the list. So maybe I think I, I taste a little bit of a pear. Hmm. And does it, why the different shapes of glasses? Um, to bring the, the smell to your nose. Mm, okay. And, and you, you are supposed to, if you want to get snobbish, you can swish them around. Swish them around. My child is, is yelling at me. But the second Mommy. taste and the third taste is, you know, Mommy. can get more of the flavors. <laughs> All right. And then when you're tasting wine, some people like to spit it out into like a bucket or something. And then well, if you're judging wine, you can't. We don't let wine it. go to waste. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, you're probably going to want to swish it out or something, but we're going white with white, so, you know, I don't know that it makes that big of a difference. So, what is this second one? The second one is a white blend. It is called Southern White. Hi. Southern White. And I it's love from Florida. Okay, so it's probably like a blend of something. Hang on. So, anyway, 
Um, it's from Lake Ridge Winery in Florida, Claremont, mm. Florida, and they're like shout out to 30, Florida, thirty minutes west of Orlando. Cheers! Anyone to tuning in from Florida, give us a heart, give us a thumbs up, let us know Florida in the house. And this is supposed to be on the sweet side. Mm, it smells very sweet. So if you like sweet wine, I know a lot of people like white wines. Um, this is one for you. You can taste the muscadine. You can taste the muscadine in this one. And it says it has like a full fruit and it finishes sweet. And I believe that is true. Because you can at the end you can taste the muscadine grape in it. And yeah, and I'm not a fan of muscadine wine. It's, it's clear. I like it because it's clear. Um, I don't see any particles in it. But anyway, the Southern Whites from Lake Ridge Winery. So you go to Lake LakeRidgeWinery.com. And then the other one is from 14Hands.com. It smells very sweet. And I don't like muscadines. I know a lot of people do like muscadines. They just, they're very sweet to me. And, and Have you already tried it? Yes. Okay, well. And, and they're under ten dollars. That's what I like. It tastes like jam. It tastes almost like a Concord grape type of wine yeah. um, because of the muscadine. It's all right. Go with, good with olives. We have good here. transition. Nice segue, Brenda. And we have cream cheese mixed with a peach jam that you can put on a sourdough bread. All right. And the, these olives. Talk to them about olives. Well, I. Well, I will be right back. Olives. Uh, from Italy, uh, these are in oil, oil and some herbs. But they kind of taste like they're still like brined. I like brined olives. Uh, I like something briny and salty, especially you know if you're having something sweet, it's really nice. I don't know that these are because they're in oil, but then and then this is fantastic. I tried it just before we started the video, and it is. Edamame hummus with white beans and then roasted red peppers, too. It's really good. Oh, and sesame seeds. So you can see it's kind of mixed around. But you can make hummus with just about anything, like a bean and whatever you want. And then and you can call it hummus. Yeah. I never heard of it being edamame hummus. Right? And it's really, like, it's really tart. It kind of, like, punches you in the mouth a little bit. And then, what did you say this was made with? Cream cheese and, and uh, peach... Jam. Mm. Everyone loves this. I mean, that pepper jelly that we all have in the South, you know, you put pepper jelly in, in cream cheese. Delicious. I'm going to have some of this. And, you know, it's essentially whatever. And we always, um, I always talk about essential oils. In the background, we have brewing some kumquat and red mandarin essential oils from the trio that I got and I made a video about recently. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. I think they still might be available. Um, but it was a trio of essential oils. It's summertime citrus. White wine, nice and light, nothing too heavy. Have you even eaten any of this? No. I'm just <laughs> drinking the wine. <laughs> and sourdough. So, to recap, 14 hands, Riesling. Oh, Both of good. these are sweet. Um, I, I'm more of a Vigno Verde, Sauvignon Blanc type of, of thing. So there you go, Brandy. That's what we're drinking tonight. 14 hands, Riesling. And Lake Ridge there it is. Southern white, a white blend. Also sweet. Like Brenda the wine expert just mentioned, all of these are under $10 and you can find them almost anywhere. Um, your package store, your liquor store, your wine store, wherever. And have fun. You don't have to have the perfect shaped glasses to drink this wine or the perfect accompaniments, whatever you want to eat. You know, people say like pairings, oh, you know, white wine with fish and chicken. Do you live by that? No, no. <laughs> whatever I'm in the mood for. Yeah. Here, here to that. So Cheers. thank you, Brenda, for joining me on the Essentially Wine Live first ever. I hope you guys had fun and maybe you have, um, we have piqued your interest for these white wines. And if you want to know more, I'll be posting the information right after this video so you can look it up and buy your own bottles of wine or even the essential oils brewing over there or the snacks right there, trying to get my hand whoop, whoop, right there. So, um, and as always, if you have any questions about essential oils, you have an essential oil that you don't know what to use it with, or maybe you have something going on that you think essential oils can help with because they can, just send me a message, hit me up, 
Like me on Facebook at my Essentially Whatever fan page and follow me at Essentially Whatever. I hope to see you guys soon.